Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best diagnostic scan tools and code readers for your Renault or Dacia vehicle in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools that I would personally choose given my 15 years experience in this field. Now, I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comments section. So please be sure to follow those links as they will take you to genuine and official products. Unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist so you really need to be careful when looking at these tools but the links that we put in the uh, in the description and the pinned comments will take you only to genuine products now i'm going to be starting with the cheapest and working my way right up to the most expensive it is true that the more you pay in a tool the more likely you are to get more functions and more coverage but that doesn't necessarily mean that if you went for the cheapest tool, you wouldn't get done what you needed to. Um, and we'll cover that very, very soon. It's all really about finding a tool which is good for your budget, your vehicle, and your specific requirements within that vehicle. So we're starting with the iCarsoft i907 kit. This kit will allow you to diagnose and reset warning lights and the main systems, things like uh, the check engine light, the ABS, the airbags, the transmission. If you've got faults in any of those systems, this tool will allow you to diagnose those faults and uh, maybe read the fault codes and do a reset. Um, sometimes you can get away with doing a reset without changing any parts. Sometimes you will need to change maybe a sensor over or look at a particular system in more detail. But the tool will give you the fault codes, give you the ammunition to know what the problem is. Uh, it doesn't cover any special functions, unfortunately, so all you'll get out of this tool is you'll get some live data, but you will get uh, mainly the four, the, the four main systems uh, coverage for fault code reading and clearing warning lights. We then move on to the next step above, which is the iCarsoft FR version 2.0 kit. This kit will do everything that this kit will do, but this also covers additional um, service functions as well. So when I say service functions, what I mean by that is the oil service reset, uh, electronic parking brake, DPF reset and regeneration, injector coating, ABS brake bleeding, electronic throttle reset, steering angle sensor, new battery registration and reset. Just because I've mentioned those systems though, doesn't mean it works on all vehicles. What I'll do is I'll put an email address in the description below this video. Use that email address if you are worried or if you are wanting confirmation as to whether one of those systems is suitable for your vehicle. Maybe you're buying the tool specifically to do with DPF regeneration. Um, in that case, definitely contact them, uh, the guys in the email address below, and they will tell you as to whether it's gonna work or not on your vehicle. We then come to the iCarsoft EU Pro Kit. Now this kit will do everything that these kits will do. The benefit of this kit though is that it covers other manufacturers in the European region. So let's say for example you have a Renault or a Dacia that you're wanting to maybe get one of these kits for, but you know someone else in your family or your friend has maybe a BMW, a VW, an Audi, Mercedes, a Seat, a Skoda, and you want the ability to you know, diagnose other vehicles within, those, um, within the same tool. Uh, so this will allow you to do that. Now, interestingly, from these kits, you don't lose any functionality when moving up to the EU Pro. So all of the functions and features that are covered in these kits will carry across into this kit as well, but also for other manufacturers, so long as they are European. And moving on from that, we look at the iCarsoft CR Pro kit. This kit will do everything that all of these kits will do, covers a it covers all of the vehicle coverage and all of the functionality from these kits, but this kit also covers additional regions and manufacturers like the Asian manufacturers, so you, the likes of Toyota, Isuzu, Nissan, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Mazda, um, Toyota, there's probably a few that I've, uh, that I've missed off there, Honda as well, uh, but this, and this also covers the American manufacturers, so the likes of Chrysler, um, Chevrolet, Jeep, Dodge, GMC, uh, you name it, it covers those as well, as well as obviously the European manufacturers as well. So um, this is a really good option tool, one of the more popular tools in fact. Uh, we then move on to the Autel MK808 kit. This is the best tool on the table, but it does come at a cost. This kit is pretty much double the cost of this tool here. Um, it covers everything that all of these tools will do, but it does have around about 25 service functions. So over and above what we mentioned for the service functions for these tools, I think these tools will cover like eight service functions. This will do all of those service functions and additional 
functions like gear learning, adaptions, uh, suspension leveling and calibration, um, and it goes into a lot more detail. With it being a lot more expensive, it's probably out of the reach of most DIY enthusiasts or home users. Um, but if you've got a lot of money and you're a DIY, there's nothing to stop you from going in at the deep end. Uh, but I would say in most cases, this is generally gonna be suitable for maybe mobile mechanics, um, small garages, small workshops, or anybody who's like mobile uh, remapping or mobile diagnostics or whatever, then you know, this is probably more suited towards you. But as I say, you know, if, you, if you've got no experience with these tools and you've got the money, there's not a problem with going in and using this because it's still very, very easy to use. But having said that, it all really depends on your specific budget, your specific circumstances and your vehicle. You know, if you've got a, a Renault or a Dacia and all you want to do is reset an airbag light or an ABS or check engine light, then, you know, there's, there's probably no reason for you to look any further than this tool here. But if you want the additional vehicle coverage, the additional system coverage and the additional um, service functionality, then you may well want to be looking at one of these middle three tools here. But it's all down to yourself. If you want further clarification or you want just to double check whether one of these tools is going to be suitable, use the email address provided. Those guys will give you the answer as to whether, um, as to whether the, the tools will be suitable for you or not. Which one would I personally choose if I'm looking for the best value for money tool? Um, I would go for this one here because I feel it offers the best system coverage, vehicle coverage and service functionality at a good price, a good reasonable price. So this is definitely the one that I would personally recommend. Um, remember, I'll put links to all of these kits in the description below this video and remember, and um, also the pinned comments as well, sorry, but remember that these links will take you to genuine products. So I'd highly recommend only going through these links if you are looking to buy one of these because fakes and clones, they do exist. They cause a big problem for us. They, cause a, they can and they have been known to cause a problem with your vehicle's ECU. You know, for the sake of saving 10 or 15 pounds, you're risking an ECU which, or a part of your vehicle which could cost three or four thousand pounds to a place. I would just highly advise you to stay away from those. Uh, with that in mind, thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped. And if it has, then by all means, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to, and we'll see you very soon on the next video on the Scan Tool Network.